Freight trains rumble through downtown Atlanta, just as they have for more than 150 years. So far, railroads have survived the city's never-ending push for progress. But some of its buildings haven't been as lucky. This is the Atlanta Constitution Building, once a symbol of reporting and journalism, now an abandoned eyesore. Constructed in 1947 for $3 million, it replaced another building of the same name that was built in 1895. The Constitution Building is located in an area known as the Heart of Atlanta, named for its proximity to the very spot where the city was founded. This is also the area where the city's two main train stations once stood, and much of Atlanta's prominent public and private infrastructure is still located here. But sadly, this building has been forgotten. It once served the Atlanta Constitution, one of the city's two major newspapers. They eventually outgrew the location and moved out in 1953. Soon after, Georgia Power moved in. They only stayed until 1972. The building has been vacant ever since. Over the years, it's become a haven for Atlanta's homeless population. The building even caught fire in 2013. But even though it's been abandoned for almost 50 years, there have been big plans for the structure and the land around it. It currently sits next to Five Points Marta Station, Atlanta's rail transit hub. And back in 2010, the Georgia Department of Transportation proposed building a multimodal passenger terminal here. It would be a central location for transit and passenger rail, but the plan ultimately fell through. The building is now owned by a developer that plans to transform it into office space and affordable housing. However, it doesn't look like they've made much progress. Many of its windows are covered up, trees are growing out of its roof, and trash is everywhere. But despite its rough appearance, there's no doubt this five-story building is part of Atlanta's past. It's one of the few examples of art modern architecture in the city. Luckily, its historical value has been noticed by some. It's made the Atlanta Preservation Center's list of most endangered historic places multiple times. But even with all that attention, it still may take more public outcry and private support to restore this landmark to its former glory.